KSBW High School Playbook Blitz. Thank you, ladies. Special shout out to the Soledad High School cheerleaders for the beautiful intro. It's week 10 of High School Playbook Blitz. And let me tell you something, offense owned the night. High scores, crazy plays. Let's get to the highlights. We're starting in Salinas with North High and the undefeated Hollister Hay Baylors. That was me. Hollister running backs leading the way. Carson Schmuckle, one of the coolest names I've ever heard, taking it in on the goal line. But you know what? Hollister can pass to Hunter Raquet to the tight end, Dante Tomasini. Call that a 36-yard pass and run. Hollister taking an early lead in this game. But the Vikings, they're going to come right back. Timothy Burkhart on the money to Justin Robonte. That one's good for six. A lot of talented wide receivers on this North High team. We've got Robonte right there. And then there's this guy, Burkhart, finding Damon Diaz, the bobble. But the focus, look at it. Breaks a little tackle, kicks free. He's going in for the touchdown. Great play there by Damon Diaz. Two powerful offenses on display tonight in Salinas, but Hollister coming away with the victory in this one. 44 to 28 is your final score. The Hay Baylors remain undefeated. They'll play Palma also undefeated next week in Hollister. Gonna be a great game. And another undefeated team, the Seaside Spartans on the road in Watsonville. The Wildcats trying to spoil their night. Last game all about offense, this one's all about defense. The Wildcats swarming to the ball, pulling down Keyshawn Robinson. Takes a whole committee, Wildcats get the ball back. They get held to a field goal, that's Adrian Garcia putting it through the uprights. Wildcats leading by three. A Little bit later, Seaside forced to punt. Bad snap, rolls into the end zone. Wildcats take him down, that is a safety. So now we have five to nothing at the half. Just ridiculous, sounds like an old school Big Ten score. But you know what? It's just a one possession game. A touchdown will win it, and a touchdown did. Seaside's James Lord taking it in for the score in the second half. That leads to the victory. Six to five is your final score. And with this win, Seaside securing a share of the Pacific Division title. They, kill, they play their rivals Monterey next week. Down Highway 101 to Soledad. The Aztecs, tough defense, trying to shut down the high powered Pacific Grove offense. Soledad getting the ball to start. Emmanuel Ortega bursting through, breaking tackles, keep on going. Ortega digging it down the field for the score. Aztecs with an early lead in this game. The Breakers trying to answer back. They throw it up. Here's that defense we're talking about. Angel Olivas picking it off and down the field for the pick six. Great day for the Aztecs. Breakers offense, best to keep it on the ground. Pays off for him, Nick Coppola. In for the touchdown. The Breakers try to string together a comeback in the second half of this game, but they do fall short. Soledad takes down Pacific Grove 35 to 20, and the Aztecs are now second in the Mission Trail League. Santa Cruz Cardinals trying to fight off San Lorenzo Valley tonight. These two are tied for second place in their league, so there's a lot on the line in this one. Start with the Cougars. Scott Potzinger takes the handoff. Room to run, 33 yards, counted up. Six points and 33 yards. SLV taking the lead. A little bit later, they're on the goal line. Tanner Murray wants on the highlight reel. And he earns it in for the score. Santa Cruz, they're going to pull a little bit closer. Here's a field goal from Isaias Pio. But the Cardinals, they're looking for more. Charles Keyes McKay finds Johnny Soto on the little screen pass there. He breaks a tackle. Going downfield, keep on churning. He's eventually pulled down. In the end, the Cougars win this game. Final score, 42 to nine. They are now second in the Santa Cruz League. Down to Gonzalez. The undefeated Padres from Carmel on the road against the Spartans. Carmel with a huge lead in the second half. But the Gonzalez defense with a big play right here. The corner, Josh Mendoza reads it. Pulls down the interception, keeping the Padres from scoring and building on that lead. And he puts together a nice little return there. Defense turn it into offense. Ooh, rip down. High snap for Gonzalez. That's going to be a problem all night. Jose Espinoza pulls it down, fires a bomb down to the 20 yard line for the Spartans. But that drive, it'll fizzle out. They can't turn it into points. Carmel getting the ball back. Daniel Pigman 
finding Dylan Haupt in the end zone. Padres extending their 50-plus lead. But the Spartans are playing with a lot of heart. Fumbled snap, Jose Espinosa picking it up, working some magic, running directly for our cameraman. Get out of the way! Okay, we're fine. He moved. Espinosa doing it all tonight, breaking tackles, breaking ankles as well. Here he is again, Espinosa going through the line. He's going to find the end zone on this one. Great game for him, but Carmel comes away with a big victory. Padres win 58-6. to They take a perfect record into next week's shoe game against Pacific Grove. Back in Salinas, a cross-town rivalry between the Alvarez Eagles and the Cowboys. Cowboys start with their passing game. Brett Reed to Jeffrey Weimer. Alvarez wrapping him up. Good defense there. This one's a little bit more successful. Sonny Areola using the sidelines to his advantage. He's eventually ripped down. That drive fizzles out. Here come the Eagles. Matt Martinez rolling to his right, lets it fly. Picked off by Oscar Sanchez Jr. Cowboys are now in the red zone. Check out this pass. Brett Reed with the fade. That's a tough throw, you guys. Right over the shoulder, in for six. Salinas snapping a three-game losing streak with a 21-point victory over the Eagles. Up to Aptos, the Harbor Pirates and the Mariners. A little sea-themed game here. Aptos in control of this game. The offense gets going. Danner Purdue bouncing off outside and he is gone. Breaking a tackle. And into the end zone for six. You know what? Give it to him again. Purdue weaving through traffic. Nope. Mm, nope. A couple more yards. The 10, the 5. Purdue's in for another touchdown. A little bit later, Aptos tries the passing game. Joey Riccobona with the touchdown catch there. That's a 25-yard touchdown. Harbor taking on a very tough opponent in tonight's game. Aptos stays perfect. 87-6 is your final score. The Mariners win that one. Christopher Cougars trying to get their first league victory. Palma still hasn't lost a game in league. Here's the Lady Cougars throwing out our footballs. Palma jumps out first. Zach Flores handing it off to Kevin Telford. Telford takes it up the middle and in for six. Palma's going to get the ball back. Check out this pass. Flores to Leo Nobita Lagrimas. He's wide open, going all the way down the field. Palma scoring again. Their offense just on display in this game, putting on a clinic. Isaiah Blanco, he's open. That's another touchdown. And we'll do it one more time for the running game. Liam Short for the Chieftains. Breaking some tackles and diving in. But the Cougars, they can throw it around too. Noah Liberatore ripping down this pass from Ryan Adam Hewitt in the middle of the field, putting his body on the line in that one. But that'll do it. Palma, picture perfect in league. They win by 28 and take their undefeated record to Hollister next week. Down in South County, the Pajaro Grizzlies and the Alice Al Trojans, green against green. You guys are just trying to get me to mess up. Start with Alice Al. Andrew Marquez dropping back, finding Alfredo Ortega open in the middle of the field. He's eventually pulled down, but he's got enough for the first. And this connection, it's working. Marquez looking for Ortega again. The Alice Al offense just keeps on rolling. They're in the red zone now. Marquez. He's got a nice little thing going with this passing game. Drops back, throws it up. Give their guy, Gregory Aguayo, the chance, and he rips it down. That's six points for Alice Al. And we've seen it on display all night. We know the passing game is working. How about a run? Yeah, that'll do it. Pablo Calderon going, going. He's got a bunch of guys on his back, and he's down. Down at the seven yard line. Calderon, though, he's going to get the chance to finish this drive off. He's going to find the end zone on this play right here, and Alice Al wins this game 42 to nothing. Homecoming in Gilroy. The Mustangs playing host to the Monterey Torridors, my Monterey Torridors. And Gilroy not being nice to my Torridors tonight. Jonathan Castro with a handoff. He rolls into the end zone. Gilroy with a big lead at this point, 35 to 3. Check this out. Gilroy's Antonio Andrade bursting through the line, ripping down Evans Charles for the sack. Gilroy gets the ball back. There goes Jonathan Barnes. What in the world? He just went through two defenders. The 20, nope, the 10. 
in for the score, Gilroy looking good tonight. Monterey getting rolling on offense in the second half. Charles with a dish to Christian Hampton. He can break some ankles too. This one's going to take a while, but you know what? It's going all the way down for the touchdown. Monterey scoring in the end of this game. Mustangs are going to win big on homecoming. Final score 42-9. Gilroy now in second place in the Pacific Division. And we'll wrap up in King City. The Mustangs cheerleaders throwing out our footballs. The girl in the back has a cannon. We need to get her on a team somewhere. On the field, though, it is King City and Marina. Broken play. Thomas Stevens avoiding the pressure. Let's it fly. He has a man wide open. That's Aiden Guzman. Nothing but daylight in front of him. Takes it all the way down for the score. Mustangs take the lead. You got to see this pass from the Mariners. Ronnie Patterson throws it up. Ernie Guevara ripping it down. Again, middle of the field. That's a dangerous spot to be in. That drive stalls. Mustangs getting the ball back. Marina pass rush bringing the pressure, but Stevens rolls out of the pocket. He's looking, finds Clay Barbie standing near the goal line. Has to do a little magic there, but finds the end zone. He's in for six. King City wins this one 54 to nothing. Now, if you've missed any of the scores, the highlights, you can find them on our website. That's ksbw.com.